Hi, I'm Angel with the Austin Organic Gardeners, and today I am going to show you how to grow mushrooms in wood chips in your garden bed. You can grow mushrooms alongside your vegetables and perennials or in the shade of trees, creating another food source and feeding the soil web at the same time. These techniques require no special equipment or electricity and can be done outdoors using organic materials found on most farms like straw, wood chips, logs, and leaves. Late fall or winter into early spring is the best time in Texas to grow mushrooms outdoors. Typically, mushrooms fruit after the rain and require high humidity and temperatures between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the species. It's best to try to time it up with the seasons when mushrooms grow in nature with the rain that usually comes in fall or spring. If you're unsure of when certain mushrooms fruit in the wild, you can also use this app called iNaturalist. You just search the mushroom species, the location, and filter by date. So you'll need wood chips, straw, and leaves as your growing substrate to feed the fungi with the nutrients they need to fruit a mushroom. Soft wood chips are preferred and avoid using conifers or pines like the loath, juniper, or cedar tree. So cardboard and hardwood logs are also an optional thing that you can use for your mushroom bed. The most important material you need for growing mushrooms is the spawn, which is the equivalent of seeds. You can purchase bags of spawn from your local mushroom farm or buy it online for around $30. Many times mushroom farms have used sawdust blocks that have grown mushrooms once and then end up getting tossed in the waste stream. Check with your local mushroom farm to see if you can help them reduce their waste and use the spawn in your organic garden. We recommend the following mushroom spawn because they are delicious and do not require a sterile environment to grow outdoors. The wine cap is one of the easiest mushrooms to grow outdoors and sometimes grow as large as a plate. It helps in building soil, retaining water, and helping your plants thrive, creating a symbiotic environment. Wine cap mushrooms are crisp with mild, earthy, and nutty flavor with hints of potatoes and red wine. This mushroom grows best in partial shade, but can tolerate some direct sun and grows well in straw and soft wood chips. Oyster mushrooms grow well outdoors and readily outgrow competitors and potential contaminants. This mushroom grows in several bright colors such as blue, pink, and yellow. The taste of oyster mushrooms is very mild. Some describe it as subtly woody or like seafood. Oysters grow in partial shade and prefer straw to denser woody substrates. Bluets are a lavender purple mushroom that can be found naturally fruiting during the fall and winter months in Texas. They need a heavy frost or a freeze to initiate fruiting, so bluets will not fruit in tropical climates below central Texas. Fresh wood bluets are great with eggs and breakfast tacos. They prefer growing in composted leaves, manure, and straw. Find a shady area and keep in mind that one five pound bag of spawn can inoculate a 16 square foot area. If you're making a new bed, you can add a hardwood log frame around the bed and you can even use inoculated logs, which we will show you how to do later. You can also use the footpaths of your gardens to create more organic matter and suppress weed growth. Or you can use an existing garden bed that is already mulched or one that needs fertilization and more organic material. Also choose an area close to water, either from irrigation or natural water flow, an area where water flows slightly downhill, pools up, where you might have nitrogen rich runoff from livestock is also a good area. If there's a lot of vegetation growing in the area, cover the entire ground with cardboard from flattened boxes that have had the tape removed water their cardboard until it is saturated. Next, you will need to sprinkle the mushroom spawn lightly onto the cardboard. Now add three inches of substrate and mix it generously with the spawn. Remember, wine caps like wood chips and oysters like straw. While wood chips work well in paths and around perennials, we recommend using straw mulch in vegetable beds. As it decomposes, straw uses up fewer nutrients in the soil than wood chips. Hack the surface to get rid of any air pockets and avoid branches or other large pieces of wood that might 
take longer to decompose. Next, you will sprinkle lightly with water. Add another layer of torn cardboard so that the moisture can make it to the bottom layer. Repeat steps three and four until you have reached a height of little less than six inches. Cover with straw or leaves to a depth of one or two inches to help preserve moisture and to shade the substrate. Water every day for the first week, every other day for the second, and then the same amount that you water your vegetable garden. Don't let your mushroom bed dry out. The first few weeks are critical, and when the mycelium spreads, you don't want it soaking wet because it creates an anaerobic environment where bacteria will flourish. You can also cover your wood chips with straw to act as a mulch layer for moisture retention or a tarp or other plastic sheeting can be used to prevent the bed from drying out. This is useful for straw beds or in especially hot or dry climates. Once established, mushroom beds require little maintenance outside of occasional watering during droughts. You can check on your bed every week or so to monitor moisture levels and see how the mycelium is growing. And once the mycelium has completely grown through the chips, you will notice tiny mushroom or pins forming. If you've covered your bed with a tarp or plastic, that's the cue to remove it so mushrooms can form. The growing process can take anywhere between four weeks to a few months after inoculation. Depending on your climate, substrate, and how heavily you spawned, after mushrooms fruit, they will spread their spores and the cycle will start over again. Fresh woody material can also be added each year to maintain the health of the bed and give it some extra food to eat. Always properly identify your mushrooms before you eat. You can also take some of the inoculated material from one bed and use it to spawn another bed and pass it along to friends, just like a sourdough starter. Keep spreading the spores. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us on our website or on our social media.